Why do boats float? Have you ever heard someone shout, Eureka, when they made an exciting discovery? Well, there was one famous man who shouted it a long time ago, and his discovery will help us understand why boats float. Sparrow, would you mind bringing in the Archimedes statue for us? Thanks, Sparrow. Archimedes was a famous scientist from the country of Greece. The story goes like this. The king had a crown made out of a chunk of pure gold by a local craftsman. The king thought the craftsman stole some of the gold by swapping it for silver that wasn't worth very much. He couldn't prove it, so he asked Archimedes to help him. Archimedes couldn't figure it out until one day, when he sat down in his bath, the water level went up. He knew he had a way that he could solve the king's question and was so excited, he jumped out of the bath and ran down the street, shouting, Eureka, Eureka! He weighed the crown, a chunk of gold, and a chunk of silver. He put each of them in the water, one by one, and wrote down how high the water level rose with each object. Using math, he discovered that the crown did not weigh as much as the gold, but did weigh more than the silver. The king was right. The craftsman did cheat him. You might be asking, what does this have to do with how boats float? Well, Archimedes discovered what is called buoyancy. It's what allows boats to float on water. If something floats, it's because the amount of water that is pushed away weighs more than the object on top. If the amount of water that's pushed away weighs less than the object on top, the object sinks. Aren't you glad Archimedes shouted, Eureka? Otherwise, we might not know how boats float. Subscribe, click like, and watch more. In Sparrow.